So welcome to today's Greater Life Coffee Cast. And today we explore another way to approach the cultivation of gratitude in your life. And of course, today being the pillar of happiness, what we're going to explore is some ways that you can ritualize gratitude. And I don't necessarily mean you've got to pull out the old pentagram and, you know, get some candles out. That could be a way to do it if you want. Um, What I more mean is, are there certain things that you can consistently do, that you can consciously develop into ways of operating, ways of being, such that gratitude will naturally outflow from those actions and ways of being. And equally, are there things that right now maybe inhibit the potential flow of gratitude in your life? And I can share a couple of examples in both of those frames. So, So as I turned 41 at the, uh, in March, I created a vision board. And rather than it being a vision board where I do the traditional thing of putting up a big house and a big car and being like, right, that's my vision, I'm going to manifest this, right? Um, I was more guided and supported by a friend to what I call tune into the emerging co-creative future that my soul is seeking to live and that is co-creative in or with um the great love that flows through all things um and so you may not have this same frame of reference for how the world operates and that's okay it's not necessary i just share it as some context which is that my context is that there is a force and energy that some would call god that some would call spirit some would call allah jar jehovah um, for me, the word that works is love, right? So that there is a great love that flows through all things and that creates all things and permeates all things. And that this great love seeks to be in co-creation with me um, in terms of the life that I wish to live. And indeed, this great love seeks to have me be a vessel for the unique frequencies and ways of love that I can embody for those to flow out into the world for the benefit of all. And that when I open myself up to align with this unique quality of love that wishes to flow through me into the world, then both my greatest joy and my greatest impact are the results of that co-creation. So that was, that's the kind of the frame and way that I approached uh, this vision board was to try to tune into, okay, what is my greatest joy? And equally, what am I also being called forth to by love that I may not understand yet, but that I can trust that process, knowing that love knows the plan and the way better than I can. And so I have this vision board now hanging up in my bedroom. And one of the things I do each morning is I look at it and kind of tune into it and say, you know, what is the one great action today, big or small, that will move me towards uh, the fullest realization of the things that are on this vision board? And I will then take a moment to kind of tune into that, like allow myself to receive what that might be, and also then to send out gratitude to all beings just you know sending the intention that may all beings love and be loved and to allow myself to feel profound gratitude for the fact that i am in a super comfy bed that i love that i am in a house and the other thing that's become a part of this little ritual is that at this time of year the sun rises and i get this little shaft of fresh morning sunlight um, coming through the window above my head and so I can turn around uh, look over my shoulder and greet the morning sunshine and these the combination of these two little rituals of tuning into the vision board and greeting the morning sunshine 
fill me with a profound gratitude. And so, you know, I'm just so grateful to be alive that I get to take breath with this body in this world, um, whatever this world may be. And um, I am increasingly of the opinion that we're likely living in some kind of simulation. Um, but that does not diminish uh, the experience of beauty that I have and the joy and the gratitude that I feel. So that would be one example of one of the ways that I ca- perhaps have not even consciously ritualized cultivating gratitude that I have this little ritual in the morning that I do and it profoundly supports me to experience gratitude. On the flip side, at the moment, like, I've always had a very, mm, is tricky the right word, relationship with food, Um, particularly kind of around binging refined sugar. Um, And, you know, I've done a lot of heavy lifting on it. You know, I've also explored, you know, fasting practices. So it's something that I've really been deeply in inquiry with. And just at the moment, I recognize there's a, like, I'm eating a bit too much refined sugar. Um, And so equally, I now see that I need to establish some rules in my life um, that, you know, I, I, as I say that, I recognize that there is a danger around what's called all or nothing thinking. And it's not that I will never touch refined sugar again. It's just that right now, I actually would be served by having some stronger boundaries around refined sugar than I currently have. And so I've spoken in previous uh, coffee casts about this idea of rituals, rules and routines and that if we can cultivate the right rituals and hold them with the right rules, then they will become the routines that can powerfully unlock our most joyful life and our greatest potential. And so what I do know is that when I've long term been eating too much refined sugar, my mental health absolutely craters. And so my capacity for happiness, my capacity for gratitude dramatically diminishes. So right now things aren't, you know, in that space yet. But I know that that's, I know that if I continue on the trajectory I'm on, I know that's where things end up. So for me right now, it is what are some rules that I can put in place such that I actually support myself around making the right nurturing food choices that will dramatically enhance my capacity for gratitude rather than begin to eat away at it. Okay, so my question for you today is, what are some rituals that you already have that support the cultivation of gratitude and therefore happiness in your life? And where perhaps might you need to bring in some rules to just, you know, shore things up a bit? Um, and if you don't have any obvious rituals right now, what are some that you could create? Really little tiny things that just allow you to connect with all that you already have and with the vision for the future of all that you would seek to bring into being. Okay.